Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's Sim for Space. Uh, we're going to get started with Red Science today. But uh, before we do that, I want to give you a quick update here. I've added a couple of things. I've added more of the industrial robot factories in this area here, just to sort of get more of them into circulation into the city. Starting to bring our jobs count down, which is good because... Uh, I don't really want to bring my population up anymore. The more people I add, then the more culture and parks and food. And, like, I have to add so much more stuff. So we're going to add uh, these robots to help offset those jobs. But we're still going to be adding more jobs, so we're going to need more robots. So I've added a couple. I've also added this microchip section over here because we were a little bit low on that. And I'm hoping that they will export their supply over to the train station. And I'm hoping that... I can get this just real quick. I've been trying to save concrete, but I just need to build, you know? So I'm going to try and see if I can't get just this one little one-way road all the way over like so. Hopefully promote these guys to ship their supply uh, over this way. So we're just going to take that away, I think. There they go. I want microchips to head that direction. So, if I can get these guys to just sort of, I don't know, quit going all the way over here, I guess. Quit turning around and going the opposite direction. They're all just, look at them. They're, like, all destined to go a certain way, and they didn't. All right. So, well, like, what do they do now? Do they just disappear into nothing? What is this? Why are they all disappearing? They got nowhere to go? Can't be the case. Where do these guys end up going here? Hold on. You're just... Yeah, you're going there. But, like, what about you? Okay. I guess it was just one of those things where the cars were already queued up to a certain direction. And then they just... Yeah, didn't do it. Anyway. So, it does look like microchips are heading this direction. Now, they're going to be able to get now into this train station. But the train station has no train. So, I want to fix that first right now. So, we've got these two tracks. And that's great. Um, but instead of sharing this track... I think I need you to not do that. Um, so instead of sharing the track, what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate this. And we're going to eliminate this. And we're just going to have these two tracks go over top of um, that other track there. So they're going to end up being, well, yeah, like over top of each other. And so um, to do that properly, I need to lift this back up. So I need to kind of... Uh, yeah, let's go about here with it. I didn't mean to click that, but it's all, it's all right. I kind of want them up to be the same level. I don't want them to be on different levels, but I guess I don't really get to have much of a say on that. So we're going to take it around like this. And I'm hoping that that clears. It needs to be up a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably safe. Go about like that with it. And then it will then... Uh, take itself down at that point. And it will go along this track like this. Okay? And uh, let's, let's just take, take it all the way, I guess. This will only take steel, so we don't need to worry about our concrete problems with this. So I'm just gonna, gonna kind of do the thing here. Just be all the way around like so, and plug it in right like this. There we go. And then we'll flip this around, and then we come back the other side. So we go this way. Need to make sure I don't get in the way. It's that curve that it wants to do all the time, man. It's just, it never wants to go straight no matter what you do. They really, I, I really hope they decide to add, you know, the ability to snap the tracks. That'd be so good. It would just make everything look so much better. You can't even make a straight track either. It's not, it's not about snapping. It's about just being able to go straight as well. All right. So this is going to connect in a really silly way. And it kind of looks cool. It's it, honestly, this reminds me of roller coasters, right? I mean, this isn't this. This has got like Cedar Point written all over it, right here. <laughs> anyway, 
We don't have any crossover now, which is what we want. This is good. So uh, the next thing is to take train station beta and train station alpha. Now I've got a train route right here. Train five is supposed to go from beta to alpha. And so what we want to do is we're going to add a train and that's going to pop that train right there. This is going to let supplies move from that side to this side. And now supplies can come on in here with the intention of going all the way over there. Yeah. Good. And there's only one train. That's fine. I, we need time to accumulate things here anyway. Um, and then, honestly, there's probably not going to be a whole lot to ship back to the main city from this direction. But we have that train now. And you can see, actually, we do have some stuff heading there. Yeah. These are all headed. Oh, uh, that's peculiar. That's weird. I don't know what you're doing there. <laughs> Hold on, man. Like, if you're going here, why not just, you know, get on the other train? I gotta imagine you're getting on a different train track. We'll, we'll see what that does. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But now we got things we got things flowing into this train station from two different directions. And that's kind of exciting. Okay. So, um, we got microchips and stuff. They've gotten delivered here, but we need more. Uh, we need them a lot more. We're going we're gonna to locally source these, I think. So, what I want to do is I want to grab the copper and the iron from this side and we're going to feed that stuff into an electronics operation right here. So we're just going to add a couple of electronics like this. That should do. We're going to add a four lane road. Um, you can preferably add it all the way on the ground. There we go. We're going to add uh, let's go with two copper mines for now. If we need more, then we'll do more. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd probably need three more. Probably need three. So go like this. Send that that way. We're going to have the iron mines. We'll have, I think, just two of these real quick. I don't think I need a whole lot. And again, we'll have this road kind of come in. Whoops. I'm going to have this road kind of come in like so. And then this needs power. So we're going to... Give it power right behind it about like that. And then just hook it up to the grid like so. Okay. So the mines will feed those. We'll have electronics being kicked out. On the opposite side, we're going to kick in or we're going to pop in uh, microchips. And I think I'm going to pop those in actually on this road. So let's bring it all the way up like this. And then I want a road that comes off the side about like here and there. And then we'll put microchips right here. So we'll say microchips are going, uh, let's say, uh, I, I don't want them to be directly on this road, but I'm, I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to do that. So, okay. So we'll go like this. This might make this really busy, but that's why I made this a four lane road. I want a whole bunch of microchips being made right here. We're probably not making nearly enough electronics for this, especially with all those efficiency bonuses. We'll start with that for now, and um, we might make more electronics here and then more microchips, etc. But I'm hoping to kind of just alleviate the pressure of having to bring it in on a train. We'll see how we can do that. Um, for the sand, I've forgotten about the sand. We'll pop, pop a couple of large sand mines right here, and they can all come in from this side. The sand should be coming in from the other side too, honestly. Actually, it is. Look at. We'll take and add an extra highway road right here. Um, no, I don't think there. That's, that's kind of that's kind of random. I, I, we could put it right here instead. It will look a little bit better give them an extra a uh, different route to get in here a little bit quicker they don't have to crowd crowd this but we're gonna make locally our microchips here and then that all gets fed to here so carbon nanotubes we're making those really well um, sand we're doing pretty well delivering it here and now we're gonna deliver it there too uh, and then microchips which are also coming in on the train so we have all that and then the supply you can see there's no workers in the building we're still working on that we're getting it down but we're adding jobs yeah we're adding jobs so I think I need more of these industrial robots. Uh, neural processors, motors, electronics, motors. So maybe we could build a couple more of those factories. 
right over here. We could say, um, right up on this hill, we could go bop, bop. Uh, I need a little bit more concrete, looks like. So we'll go one more here. Actually, I could come off of this road too. Why don't I come off of this road? Give it a little bit more space. Yeah, could do that. Uh, still takes 100 concrete to, to connect that. What a drag. We'll go like this for now and then straight up here or... Well, yeah, no, for now this will work. This will this will connect them at least and that's all we need to do. No, it won't. This silly road. You silly road. Bring it down. There we go. Okay. So additional industrial robots here, and that also gets it near the train station and stuff too. Although it can't go direct because of how we have this organized. So what I'll need to do, I think, we have a one way here. We'll go ahead and put put a one way right here as well. Maybe we'll go like from here. Nah, right here's fine. So now we, at least we give a one way that can cross directly and go that way. We'll see how that works. No, it looks like they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna use this instead of, yeah, okay, I don't want that. Never mind. no thanks. Hmm, yeah, now this is, I think this is a temporary thing. I don't think it will stay this congested. Um, the reason being is because once these buildings get their steady supply in full, then they start only, tr they only need it on a trickling in level as opposed to like dump the supply in. Um, one of the weaknesses in this game that I wish they would address, I, I believe it's a weakness anyway, is that these storages do not actually store useful items. They just store building supplies, and it's very arbitrary. Um, like, they don't need to be near the construction sites or anything. So you could realistically just put all of your steel and concrete in a big ball, like right here, and just have everything going into storage units, but then build wherever you want. I don't like that. I, I kind of, when I initially started playing the game, as you know, I started putting resources in here because I thought they were necessary and that they could be sourced. Um, and this would create sort of a situation where resources are sort of, if we're overproducing, we could build up a surplus. And then, you know, it's sort of in a way, it's kind of like reminds me of Satisfactory, right? Uh, and where you have a storage or I guess maybe Dyson too. I don't know. But any factory game really where there's storages. I don't know. I'm building, I'm recording this right after the last one. So I haven't seen your response to the whole like Satisfactory Dyson Sphere question yet. But I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's really great. I like these buildings. They're very modern, you know? Okay, so uh, the last thing to build then is for red science. So we have all the ingredients, we just need to get them in. And I think probably we take the entirety of all of this, everything that's being built, we shove it into this train station. And then we have it, we have the, the red science be here. The reason for that is because I want it closer to the yellow science. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, and that's a problem because yellow science is way over here. Yeah. I wanted it closer to yellow science, but yellow science can make its way over here. It, it can. I, I don't know if it's ideal, but it, it could work. Um, why don't we take and have a dedicated road for this? I just want to see how it works. If I take a dedicated road and put it right here. Um, and then let's say I connect this. Ooh, that's going to invite traffic there. But it needs to come in from yellow science. So we'll invite a one-way road in from here that also allows the cars to you know come on in here for yellow science they can take this almost to the train station but then deviate and um you know the other the only other alternative is to get uh yellow science to go on the train and over and then everything else is grouped local but i i like the idea i think instead of having the train pull into the station and everything we need for yellow science just gets off the train and comes right into here. We don't even, or red science, I mean, and then we don't even need to worry about it. It just comes right into here. So let me just see what happens if I drop these three red sciences here, All right? What will that do for us? Where, where will the stuff come from, All right? So everything needs to come here which means everything that needs to 
uh, exist over there. The AI control units, everything. It all needs to get on the train. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a one-way. It's like, why are you doing this weird thing? I can, I can make this better for you. Yes, I certainly can. You don't have to come all the way up there. See, now all these guys are just going to start flowing. All the extra supply that we need for that science, it's all going to start flowing into the train. And then when it gets to the train station, I'm hoping it just comes out of the train station and direct. So in other words, red science doesn't take any traffic. It's just this is a dedicated road for it. And as we can see, the industrial robots are also being delivered. So that's kind of cool. There we go. So industrial robots should be, yep, 100%. Good. Less people to work here, too. That's pretty nice. Looks like we are going to need some more people, though, unfortunately. How is my food situation right now? Your city will be demo Your city will be demoted to city if you have fewer than 3150 level 6 citizens. I don't have that problem right now. What's my food situation like? Okay, so it looks like school underperforming a little bit. Culture's pretty good. I've added two more stadiums. Um, park is looking okay. Survival food is more than adequate. Good meals, meat, all that stuff is very good. So um, I think we just add additional housing. So we come off the back side of this. Uh, could get away with this, honestly. I could, but I'm going to wait. I might put food, survival food and stuff right here. So we'll go like this. There, 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 and there. Leave a space for the road. Actually, could just do it now so they could start delivering. Like that. And then go like this. We, we just need a few more people. They think this little housing block here will take care of it. Now that's going to be a problem as it upgrades. I'm going to slide these over a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to put in one little survival food thing. Is, it, is that needed? No. What's the thing that's needed? Uh, schools. I don't think I can fit schools in here, honestly. Yeah, no. Um, but I can fit it over here. Go about like that. And then just have a road go like this. All right, so everything gets delivered to these guys. They're gonna upgrade very fast. And um, so we're gonna add additional houses behind them. So we'll go like this. Here, 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 here. Here, here, and here. Yep, uh, and then I want the road to go this way, and then this way. Uh, nope, this way is fine. And all we're going to do is move this in a little bit like that. Okay. So that's a new housing block. Let's get let that uh, let that do its thing. I want to upgrade the road here really quick. Do this. We don't have anybody living on that. Uh, I can't upgrade any of those because we have these buildings living on them. So we're kind of making the blocks in a different orientation. They've been made with rows this way, and now all of a sudden I'm making them with rows this way, which, you know, I don't think it matters. It makes it a little bit more interesting. I think you can only really notice it if you look at it from above. You can kind of see how their rows and the gaps are, and then you see how the gaps kind of change to being this way. But it works out. I think it's looking good. And those guys, those things are gonna get upgraded pretty quickly. Um, electronics are a little light. Neuroprocessors are a little bit light. We can work on that too. I just want to make sure the train. Where's the train? The train for this. Yes. Okay. So let's see what's on, what's got on it. We're delivering good meals, sand. Important things though. We're delivering the AI control units. What I don't see is the splody splodes. Well, they're already in storage. Yeah, that's good. These things are already working. So this is going to be nice. So the things that are getting off from the train, everything else is gonna get off the other exits. But this one, if it goes to Red Science, it will have its own dedicated path and it won't have to contend with anyone. So there it is, perfect. So we'll go ahead and 
get uh, red science. Let's add another. We're just going to add them here like this. So all the cars coming in, they can stay on this side of the road as they come in to be delivered. I like that. Um, do we want anything coming in from the other side that will create... It won't create through traffic. But it might give resources like yellow science. We don't have... A, we're not making a lot of yellow science, so... We might want to consider dropping additional yellow science, and they need a lot of motors. The yellow science does. Like it's it's a pretty it's a motor hog, so I'm not sure. I mean, there's a lot of efficiency bonuses on these though, so maybe that's okay the way it is. I might be able to get away with. We're already at a microchip deficit, aren't we? We have a chip shortage. Imagine. Can you imagine having a chip shortage? That would suck if that ever happened in real life, wouldn't it? Jeez. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this. So, Iridium Propellant Factory. Fast near uh, Neutron Reactor. Okay, more electricity. Or there's the Animantite Mining. We'll go with Iridium first. Then we'll, we'll save the Animantine Mining for last. So, we'll go for the Iridium Propellant Factory first. And I don't know what that does. I have no idea what it does, but we're gonna do that first. Okay, so that takes care of our final workflow for science. Is there anything else we wanna add? Well, the high-tech workshop, this allows things to output 30% more when it's, when it's made, and it requires us to process the iridium, and it needs a whole bunch of aluminum delivered. So we're gonna have even more aluminum coming in. Now, I made this but and they are coming in okay good i was gonna say i made this connected this is aluminum ore and i finally connected this so they can all send it right so i'm gonna take this high-tech workshop here and um i think i'm gonna put a couple of these on the side like this just three of them and then this is gonna allow for the additional, that additional influx of resources to be used for something else that improves the output of everything else. And then we don't have to worry about traffic as much. I, I don't, I don't think so anyway. Um, well, maybe because the trucks are all, like the trucks have a limited capacity, right? So if we, if we start to produce more without spreading out, I think that will just add to our truck congestion, won't it? <laughs> We should think about having alternative routes where necessary. Um, I have made alternates, alternates here, but now we've got these guys coming in to deliver here. So I think it would be good to have another highway from here to here, just as sort of another route to come in. And then maybe we have this cross just to, just to do it, just to see if they want to use it. That's it. It's the only reason to do that. You know, let them spread out like that right there. Let them spread out, let them use different roads for different paths, and then we won't have so much of a traffic problem. So that kind of, that fixed that long line waiting in line over here, right? And then they just deliver everything. Nice. Uh, we got a nice steady flow through here. And then things that come off the train, they're already on this side, so they don't have to cross traffic. They just, they just get in. Um, we might be able to fix that even further by getting them on the correct side of the road. So here's an out. We can uh, change that to be like this. And it comes straight out this way. And then over. That's going to give them the ability, if they want to, to come out here instead. We've got another train heading in. Can't see what's on it. But going to see what's on it when they come off the train anyway. There we go. All the meals are loaded up. Beautiful. And this nice flow, constant flow of food coming in is really nice too. I think that looks awesome. This train's got a ton of electronics on it. Wow. Are we not producing enough over here? I mean, we, uh, we may not be. All right, we may not be, but if I go and add a few more microchips and then add a row of 
uh, yeah, like this. I want to add a row of electronics behind this. Like so. And like, nope. Like so. And like so. And we'll just move this road up, move this road up, move this road up. Beautiful. So extra electronics now being sourced locally uh, instead. The good thing to do. Probably going to need to increase our copper output by doing that. So we'll go about two more of these. Let's drop this like so. And then we're going to need some extra sand as well. Yep. Let's have some sand come in from this side too just because we can. Uh, and then also iron mines. Going to need to add a few more of those. Looks like I can add it on this side. That's kind of cool. Yep. Cool. Two more of those too. So that will flow in. We'll have a more local source for uh, electronics being delivered and everything. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we need electricity as well on this side. Uh, yeah, we'll just have this head over here like that. It's fine. As long as I can get this post to... Yeah, there we go. No big deal. All right, sweet. So, red science. We're good? Uh, I don't see progress being made. Hang on. I don't see progress being made. It just takes forever. It's 160 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It just takes forever. And it's not fully efficient because of the workforce. So, we still need those robots to just slowly work their way through everything uh, to produce it. Aluminum, motors, electronics, and neuroprocessors. We could put another one. Uh, just Let's just add a couple more on this side here. And, well, it was going to be here. If I rotate it, will it let me? Yeah, right there. It will. It'll let me. Right there. Look at all the stuff just flow in. I love it. Very cool. Everything's flowing. Let's check out traffic over by copper. Okay, so coppers, this is a little congested. I had this extra route here did for a little bit fix it, but now that I've added extra stuff, I don't think it it's still really congested here, right? Is there anything I can do to give this another route to get into here? Not really. I mean, if all of this copper is going that way, you're going there, there. Yeah, um, well, maybe one thing I could do, I suppose, is maybe move this to here. Ooh, put it back behind here. Yeah, go something like this. Uh, and then one thing I could do is if I upgrade this, they might be enticed to use this path to get into here because it's not that highway. They, they're just they're just drawn to this big road and since this is a slower road they want to take this one to get there but if I make this they might go around all right let's see if that works at all I mean of course it's gonna take a little while for them to clear out that's what I'm hoping for I'm hoping that they go around the other direction but now it seems they're just gonna go this way and then wait to get yeah that's unfortunate man Okay. Uh, how do I fix that? I could maybe make this path from here in a bit easier. I can't really see the road. I know this road goes underneath here, though. I know that that is fully connected, but, but it's not connected to here. So it, it kind of... Uh, I can't, you can't see it very well. So there's a road there that goes all the way to this point. So hypothetically, if I move you back a little bit, no, can't move you back at all. That's all right. Well, if I move you to here, it's kind of silly. It's really silly. 
it won't be connected to the road if I move it there, though, so never mind. Uh, I don't really want to put another producer on this side. I could maybe alleviate a little bit of it by putting it on this side. Not really what I wanted to do, but I'm going to just try to clear this out a little bit so I can connect this. And then some of this might be enticed to get into this system. It might be enticed to go this way. We'll see. Um, if I move here, there we go. So the hope is I can now go like this. And in so doing, create a path that takes them directly into here, which they will choose to use instead. Um, and then hopefully we get like, you know, more copper getting kicked out in this direction so that they want to source it from somewhere else. Um, the only other thing I can think of is just repositioning the destination buildings so that they draw from a different source. So if I go, like, say, randomly pick one, yeah, like, maybe I take these... I don't know, like, yeah. I take these nine electronics and the microchips that go with them, I guess. I could take and maybe move them over here. You know, like, give it a different... Have it draw from a different location. So, like, get rid of you. Um, I've got this recycling center here kind of helping out. But it's it's clear I need to just reduce the the load from copper on this side. So if I move these facilities somewhere else, like this. Uh, yep. If I do something like that, they'll have to source the copper from here. And then of course this supply can just, well, this supply can go straight, straight to here, but the supply is going to have to go around, right? So, but the electronics can at least get on the train. And hopefully by having just a few less buildings to, to, to come this way, right? A few less buildings that want copper to come this direction. Um, we might be able to add some additional motors. We might be low on that by now. We're using them now. Motors. Yep. So if I add a couple of motors, which takes copper, that doesn't really help me, does it? Um, well, now I could source it here. Maybe I put copper there. I could put a couple of motors on this side. Send copper this direction, right? Now, just, just give it a different direction to go. Just give it another purpose. Um, maybe we go here. Connect this road like that. There we go. And then uh, we can add motors here as well. They take steel. Steel can be shipped in. Right? So, it's, again, just trying to get the all the trucks coming out of here, they need to just, you know, go here instead. You know, try to... Prioritize coming here instead. This will bring iron up, or sorry, steel. Steel should be getting sent from over here now and being brought this way. So we should see a wave of cars pretty quick heading in this direction. If they can get through here. There are a couple. There we go. These little blue cars that are coming through, these are all steel trucks. They're kind of, they're kind of trickling in. But that's a good thing. Um... Yep, how's our red science doing? Well, we have 0% on iridium propellant. 0% on iridium propellant. Why? Why do we have zero? What are we waiting for here? I want to say it's just how slow it's going, right? I think it's just the speed. It takes a long time and people aren't do like it's still 86 percent though not enough workers negative 14 but i don't see it moving at all oh there it goes put my foot in my mouth huh 13 out of 14 160 seconds 
then we need the high-tech tools in here too. But I still don't see iridium propellant being researched. Like I'm making red science, but it's not actually working. You know? What does it take to make that? Wait, does this... Hmm. I know. I know why. It needs to go here. Dumbass. <laughs> it needs to go here. Go! Yep, that's why. You dummy. Um, put it over at the end of the road, actually, so it's not in the way. Here. Just flip it around and, and do that. You have to have a place to deliver the red science. You know? So, my bad. And then they're probably going to deliver other types of science here, too, now. Yeah, green science is coming here, too. Gross. Oh, uh, no. That's not what we want to do. Okay, so... Hmm. How do we prevent you from clogging the way. I think I got it. I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to go like this, and then off this side, we'll go like this. Okay, I'm going to move the science. No, I'm going to move you to here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll have you come out and go like this. And then I will upgrade you to a tier two road in these two spots. So the trick is now is that all those other places that are trying to send science to this place for some reason, I don't know why, they can now come in on this path instead. They're gonna probably prioritize coming in here and then they won't get in the way of our red science anymore. So we should see red science now being able to at least come over and then drop itself off in here. That was pretty dang cluttered, man. And I'm like, why aren't you working? Yeah. Well, because you have to have a place to drop off the red science. So there you go. Now there's six, five science packs, five red science packs. Yeah. And then we just need yellow science in here now. Yellow science can reach, should be able to reach. I think. Um, unless it's being used for other things, which I don't know why it would be. Can I see a car come out of these buildings? I want to track it and see which what its uh, route is. What route it prefers to use there. Yellow Science is going to the research lab. Okay, are any of you going to... Maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, right? You have to have yellow science in these buildings. So it does matter, but... And it's, it's getting delivered. I guess I don't need to know which direction it's coming from. Okay, what else are we missing here? Neuroprocessors at 77 out of 100. So we need to increase that. And then we're also underperforming on iridium and uranium. Uh, I can fix one of those. I've added a couple of extra nuclear facilities here. So we're having more nuclear power now, too. Um, so as far as the neuroprocessors go, those are being built here. And there seems to be a decent supply of them. So we'll just go ahead and add a few more, like so. And then to make these go faster uh, than they are, we can add... I think uh, maybe nanotubes, sand. Sand is very easy. Just add the sand mine behind it. We can add a sand mine. Uh, yeah, at least a whole bunch of sand mines right back here. We'll just go like this. There, and then a couple of smaller ones here and here. And then we just have a road real easy like that and a road that comes out and like that, okay? We could come straight across here at two if we wanted to. Yeah. But that's gonna give these uh, a big bump, at least it should. 
And there's high-tech tools already installed here. Nice. So these should be operating at a very big efficiency. Or a very, very high efficiency. 172%. There it is. Nice. 151%. Yeah, so we should be producing a whole bunch of them because they're going to get these adjacency bonuses for these buildings here too. All right, sweet. Now the only downside is that we're spitting dirt into the building, which is very unfortunate for you, for them. But I, nobody's going to see. The windows are on uh, the sides. Yeah, the dust is going into the solid part of the building. The windows are... Oh, yeah, because of how I've built this. Yeah. Because I rotated it. Relative, so, so, like, the door is supposed to be here, and then they'll be able to see out the window, but because of how I built it, they kind of just look into other buildings. They're just saying hi to each other, you know? Bob works here. Maria works here. They wave at each other all the time. It's a secret love story that you just haven't been told yet. I think there's a cause, or rather a case to be made, for this to get upgraded to a three-laner because there's a lot of stuff that comes off that train. I'm going to give them three lanes on this. Yep, all the way up there. And then they can choose to go straight, right. I'm not sh there's no reason for them to ever go right. So, honestly, what it would be is it would be something like this. We would want them to go straight. Uh, or this way, or this way, yeah. Because there is zero reason for them to want to come off the train and then immediately go back on the train. You know, this is all a one-way street, so... We'll just have them... Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Did we solve all of our problems? Are we making everything right now? With the neuroprocessors. I just increased the efficiency of all these and added additional buildings. How are we not making enough of them? Weird. Aluminum, huh? I can fix that. Let's get the aluminum over here. Aluminum mines. Uh, these are the big ones, right? Yeah, large, large aluminum mine here. No, here, no. Which way, right here? this. Come on now. Let me have it. Blue. Blue. Not blue. Blue on this side. Not blue. Over here. Good enough. Good enough. All right. We'll take the road from here to here. Just move this. It's fine. Uh, you don't have a road? Why? There you go. You two are connected, yep. And then this one goes like so. Fine. Okay. Let's get rid of these overlays. So we're adding additional aluminum into the, the mix here. And, you know, I got a feeling I'm probably gonna need more power here too, right? You're sucking down nine? So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got 63 power and we're producing 75. Uh, oh, output by 50%. Oh, good. So we can actually add one more if we want to. Will it let me? It's just not quite close enough to the supply to do that, but I can do it here. And then I need to increase my power output here, too. This looks kind of ugly, doesn't it? Doesn't that road look really disgusting? Let's clean it up. There. Um, power. You. Go like that. There we go. All right. I should have fixed the aluminum shortage issue. But in case I didn't, we can also place another one over here. So we'll just pop this. We could just do something like this, I guess. Yeah. Come together. Let's put them in a row so they look better. And then we just have this come over here somewhere in this 
general vicinity. Uh, we'll have additional aluminum mines here. And these, these, this aluminum supply can go on the train. There's nothing that says it can't go on the train. Uh, so if there's an excess supply, it can totally just do it. We'll go about like that, and then straight through, all the way over, connected here. Uh, and then we want the power. Like so. There we go. And then we just upgrade this road to be uh, two ways fine. I don't mind. I'm not sure why I would ever need a two way though, so forget that. Go one way. Yeah. There's no reason to ever make it a two way. So now the su extra supply even more comes in and then again if it needs to go to the train it can uh maybe i should make a shortcut to do that yeah right here i'll make a shortcut for this if they need to go to the train for some reason they can take the super highway straight over to here yeah i don't know why they would need to but if they're going to the train that's their answer okay it's just like somebody turn Somebody please make this justified. I just saw habitat downgraded. Why? Let me see. What's going on there? Parks. Park need? Park need. Get out of my way. Uh, the park need is fine. Parks are fine. You just didn't get it delivered or what? Like... Maybe it's just a hair too far away. Just add another park right here. Like uh, another two parks, why not? There you go. Two more parks for you, okay? I don't wanna hear any complaining about your parks. They're all right there for you. Uh, what else can we do? Another row of houses, do we need it? it kinda looks like we're going to be fine because we're still distributing the industrial robots. Oh, look at this. That's why the parks aren't getting delivered right here. Yep. That's why it's not happening. It's too congested here. What's the cause of this? They're just all coming out of here. The road's not big enough for the two of us. All right, we'll fix that. We'll widen this out. We'll widen this out. Um, we'll go ahead and widen this out too. So that they have options. Then we'll move this a little bit. Uh, let's move this to be over here, I guess. Take this, put it like this, I guess. And uh, with these wider streets, they'll have more options, more lanes. They can pick their lanes a little bit more intelligently and uh, maybe uh, not have to wait for each other as much. So hopefully that will get the parks in. We're still having a bottleneck right here by the train station though. All the stuff coming off the train is having to wait for this. And you're having to wait because probably of, because of stupidity here. Um, you're trying to turn left into that. Okay. When you do if you do is this yucky that's what that is that's yuck let's have you come off why don't we have you come out another another place let's have you come out of there uh hmm where though all of you guys are just waiting that sucks maybe i just Make this a regular little... Uh, there's really nothing I can do to avoid it, is there? Yeah, it's always going to look terrible. It's always going to look bad. But there's a difference now, I think. Is that this is no longer a highway road, but a regular old road just like this. And it's actually the downgraded version of this. So I think that's going to let these guys go more often. Because right now, it's just like this constant stream of cars. Like a red light sort of situation. But every once in a while, they do get to go. 
I haven't actually taken the time to really look into that. One other thing I could do though is let the parks go in from a different direction. So like over here, if I move this a little bit, I could get the parks to be... Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this real quick. Let's go like this. Change this road to a highway. I was afraid of that. Upgrade it. All right, upgrade this and upgrade this and upgrade this. Yep, um, so we'll move you to here. Or here, or here, whatever. Um, we're gonna take this school and shift it to be here. Take this school and shift it to be... Oh. Well, shift it to be somewhere right there. Okay. Uh, now that we have this as a highway, maybe they will prioritize coming this direction instead. So that they can meet up with this road here uh, as another highway. Like that. Look at these buildings. <laughs> They're not even straight up and down. They're not even level. Would you live in this building? My goodness. It's just, it's so slanted. But hopefully this will clear up the traffic a little bit too. I, I just want to take this, this traffic that's on this road right here and make it to where it's not on this road anymore. Um, the other option, which may break these buildings, is to do this. And then if I can adjust this slightly. Nope. But I can do it here. Yep, like that. I can fit that in. Yep, right there. Good. How is our oxygen supply? Uh, where is it? Or down here. We're not bad. We could maybe do one more just for the overhead. Just to, you know, make sure. Kind of don't want it to be right by that exit, though. I'm going to put it over here somewhere. Just because. So the only thing we're really not producing as much of as that we need, anyway, is... By the graph, anyway, it just looks like neuroprocessors are the only thing that are a little bit low. And we can see that these are not getting yellow science very well. Maybe congestion's causing it. Maybe just the fact that we're not producing enough of it is probably what it is. Because I knew I wasn't, because it's kind of exclusive to this little area. So, but it's still happening, right? Iridium propellant research is still happening. It's even if we're at a shortage for yellow science, we're not completely short. Um, to make additional yellow science, Requires motors and neural processors. My God, more of these processors. We need more of those processors. Wait, can we? Oh. Um. Well, motors. Motors are going to be the big thing. They take so many motors. Let's put a couple of yellow science buildings back here. Just to see if we can't uh, make this a little easier on ourselves. And this might com complicate the hell out of it. I don't know yet, but we'll see. It won't let me connect that. Interesting. There's already too many intersections there or something. There we go. We'll just move this a little bit. Move you a little bit. No? There it goes. All right. So we'll see all these motors being here. If we can get them off the road, you know? And then this yellow science, which is made here, can then travel in this direction to get over into this area. Which is, you know... It's a bottleneck. They got to get through this traffic, which is very bad. This road is very bad. I have to fix this road now. Damn. Look at all these things. 
Look at all the green science that's trying to rush into this area now. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. I totally messed that up, didn't I? This, this wasn't a problem at all. Um, until I put the yellow science here. And now all the green science is trying to get up here. And that's going to create problems already. So I, I probably need to move these again. Damn. I, I do. I, I can't have these here. They're they're going to be too much. For my The whole system's going to collapse, man. Um, but if I put it instead, let's say somewhere that can handle that green science load. I'm, I mean, it could work here. It's just about like, how are they getting here? You know, it, it could work. The, the motors are right here. They just come out and they come straight in here. Right. I'm going to try it here over here instead. So we're going to give it a shot in this area. Put one there. Uh, put one over here, right next to this. Uh, put another one across the road from that. We'll give this a shot and see if this is any better. This is uh, definitely going to clog traffic for a little bit. And I'm just going to have these things, I think, re like reproduce the science. Because like, I don't know where these guys are going now. They're kind of trapped on the road with no destination. So I'm going to just temporarily go like this. Just sort of reset their pathing a bit. Yeah, just to kind of get them to reevaluate routes and supplies and all that stuff. And then if they use this road instead, which is what they're doing now, then we just have to keep this clear. And this is very congested. Are you all trying to get into here? Oh, wow. That's a problem. Yep. So it's just like learning like little things, you know? Like little tiny inefficiencies that end up causing massive bottlenecks. I'm gonna go that way with it. And then I'm gonna take this road and upgrade it to be a highway that brings them into this area instead. So now I should see a lot more flow through here. Hopefully this steel needs to be moved now. <laughs> Shift it over on this side, I guess. No, you're not gonna do that, you sure? You don't want to just hook up right there. There you go. So we should see a lot increased flow through here now. Maybe that fixes the traffic problem. It's got to work itself out. All that green science. All that green science. My gosh. But again, once you when you first build things, everybody sh sends it all at one time, right? It's this, this huge influx of demand. But like over time though, that becomes more of a trickle in because the storage just fill up from that huge wave. And then it's like, as you use it, it gets replaced. So the traffic that we see here now to bring things to yellow science, it's not permanent. Like it's, it's not gonna always be this way. It just needs time to, to sort it. And this needs to be upgraded now. So that's, if it's not upgraded, then it's gonna get in the way even more, so. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. We're gonna let things run, let yellow science get going again. It's nearby the, the red science now and they can actually come out of their their doors. The, the yellow science can come out of the doors, hit this highway, go this way, and then immediately just take a detour and get in here. Like they, they can do that really quickly. Um, just to help that a little bit, since it doesn't looks a little bit weird if I don't, uh, we'll upgrade this to a two, ro two way. Um, and then we just kind of could just leave this alone, but instead I'm gonna upgrade it to a highway as well. So now the yellow science can just come out of here and just redirect itself into these buildings. Okay, yeah, leaving it here. Got a bit of a traffic issue on the trains, absolutely. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. You can like the video if you like it, subscribe uh, if you haven't already. I'm hoping to get some steel up here. Looks like I need to make I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a whole steel factory thing right here with the iron. Yeah, because the steel is down here and it's having a hard time getting up here. So anyways, uh, we'll see you next time, guys. It's been fun. Bye-bye.